In this presentation, we're going to discuss tracking changes in Excel. To track changes in Excel, you will first select the Review tab of the ribbon, and then from the Changes group, select Track Changes, and then select Highlight Changes. This brings up the Highlight Changes dialog box. You're going to select Track Changes while editing, and you should note that this is also going to make your workbook shareable so that others can access your workbook. This is most often when tracking changes in Excel is most useful. Now from the When drop-down, you can select when you want the changes to be tracked, all since you last saved since a specific date. I'm going to leave this as all. From the Who drop-down, you can say track changes by everyone or everyone except yourself. And you can use the Where box here to set specific areas or worksheets in your workbook that you want the changes to be tracked in and you're going to make sure that highlight changes on screen is selected and click OK. You're going to get a pop up here that says that you are going to need to save your workbook. I'm going to proceed to save it and then you'll notice up here in the title bar it's now indicating that my workbook is shared. So I'm going to go ahead and make a change here. Changed one of these grades and now you'll notice my cell where the change is is highlighted and there's also a small triangle at the top indicating that changes have been made here. If I hover over this, I get a pop-up saying what was changed, who changed it, and when it was changed. To resolve changes in a workbook, you're going to again select Track Changes, and this time click Accept Reject. Excel is going to tell me that I'm going to save my workbook again. Select Changes to Accept or Reject dialog box pops up here. I'm going to select Which Changes, Who, and where the changes are. I'm going to click OK. So now Excel is highlighting my change, asking if I want to accept and reject it. I can also accept and reject all of the changes. I'm going to click Accept, and my change has been accepted. Coming up next, you'll go over how to mark a workbook final in Excel.